Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. The year is almost over, and to celebrate we're going to make a beautiful langoustine and muse. It's going to be a savoury cone filled with a langoustine tatar, a lime caviar, and a langoustine crisp. If you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel, and hit that notification button so you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. We're going to begin with the langoustine tatar. First, take a couple of langoustines and separate the tails from the body. Keep the heads for later. Then take a tail and press it so it cracks. Now peel away the shell. After, remove the intestines by making a small incision in the tail and pulling it out. Then use a blowtorch to slightly toast the outside of the langoustine and directly cool it down in your fridge. Once they have completely cooled down, lay them on a cutting board and slice them in small cubes. Transfer the tatar into a bowl and season it with the zest from a lime, some olive oil, salt and pepper. Mix this. Then transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the langoustine butter. Take the heads and cut them in half. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the heads till they start to color. Now add 250 grams of butter and let it melt. Once melted, add the peel from one lime. Let it marinate on a low heat for around 30 minutes. After that, pour it on a sieve that's laid with a clean kitchen paper and let it drain. Now for the langoustine crisp. Begin by pouring 25 grams of egg white in a blender. Also add 3 grams of salt, 25 grams of the langoustine butter, 3 grams of tomato powder, 15 grams of sugar and 20 grams of flour. Now mix this till it's a smooth batter. After that, spread it on a silicon mold. Here I use the mold from Mold Brothers. I put the link in the description to their website. Then bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. When still hot, remove them from the mold. Then let it cool down and keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the lime pearls. First, chop 90 grams of ginger. Do this as well with 120 grams of galangang. Then take 6 limes, cut them in half and juice them. Now pour 120 grams of the juice into a saucepan. Also add 400 grams of water, the juiced limes and the chopped ginger and galangang. Now bring this to a boil. Once it has boiled, turn off the heat, cover it with plastic foil and let it cool down completely out of the fridge. Then put it through a fine sieve. Now measure 400 grams of this liquid into the saucepan and also add 3 grams of agar powder. Mix this well and then bring it to a boil. Then pour it into a measuring cup and then in a piping bottle. Now drip the lime liquid into some sunflower oil that I've put in the freezer for 3 hours. Be sure to do this evenly so the balls don't become too big. Once that's done, pour the caviar on a sieve and let it drain for at least 2 hours so all the oil can drip away. Meanwhile, pour 300 grams of the lime liquid into a saucepan, together with 4 grams of agar powder. Mix this well and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Once it has boiled, pour it into an oven dish and let it cool down completely in your fridge. Then transfer it into a blender and spin it till it's a smooth gel. Now transfer it into a piping bag. 
Then also transfer the caviar into a bowl and add some of the lime gel that we just made. Mix this and then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the cones. Take a couple of sheets of brick dough and cut them in rounds using a plate or a bowl. And cut them in half. Now place them on a cutting board and brush some melted langoustine butter on the dough. After that, roll the brick dough on some metal cones. Make sure that it's really tight and then bake them at 160 degrees Celsius till golden. This takes around 20 minutes. Remove them when they're still hot to prevent them from breaking. Then we can start to finish the muse. First fill the cones with the langoustine tatar. Then place a nice amount of the lime caviar on top. Now add 2 or 3 balls of salmon eggs and finish it off with the langoustine crisp. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. Happy New Year to you all and I wish you a wonderful 2022. Bon appétit!